Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I'm going to be doing another B6 plan with me. B6 is a number five Foxy fix. The kit I'm going to be using is this Park Avenue kit from Aria's Daydream. I kind of meant to use this in my Erin Condren during September, but then I ran out of time um, because we ended up going to Greece. So I used more Greece kit, kit more Greece themed kits than I had planned. Um, so I, yeah, really wanted a chance to use this kit so I figured I would use it this week in my B6 especially because I am actually planning on using this as my like carry around planner for the week. I wanted to try actually using it as my like on the go planner and then um, I'm traveling later this week so I definitely wanted to have a slightly bigger planner with me than normal just like a little bit more space so I'm going to use this kit in these inserts which are from Jesenia's Printables um, who is the planner sophisticate I did a plan with me, I think by the time you guys see this video will actually be two weeks ago, using these inserts and I didn't realize at the time that these actually weren't in Jesenia's shop yet, but because um, I think she was kind of nervous about the fact that it is a, it requires a legal size paper to print, but I think she is planning on releasing these. So definitely let her know if you want to see them. Um, I know, I think she saw that there was like a lot of interest after I posted my video. So hopefully she will release them for you guys. Um, I hope you guys don't mind me using them in the interim. So um, she also gave me some tips on how to like basically fit all the things in these, in these inserts. So I'm really excited because I think I'm going to be able to like try to do this almost as like an Erin Condren. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is cut down my to-do list. I definitely don't need six every day just for like how I operate. Um, and Jessenia said, if you shorten these up a bit, you should be able to fit full boxes in. And I was like, ooh, let me try. So um, I think I'm gonna do, do I wanna do four? I think I'm gonna do four. I think four will be perfect. I'm gonna go just straight across on here. And since this is a full size Aria Daydream, Aria's Daydream kit, um, oh, I did it so crooked, shit. Um, I probably will have extras and I might end up printing out a daily insert as well as this. We're gonna see, I'm gonna see how much I can really fit in here. Well, let me actually do my headers first that would be good how me are these colors I'm obsessed with these like muted purples so so pretty I'm gonna go ahead and put these headers down first and then come back and oh the headers and the checklist and then I'll come back Ugh, I did a really janky job cutting some of those, but oh well. So I, next up, oh, I better do, I think I'm gonna do the today section in next and just try to put these headers down, probably just leave a teeny bit of white space. And then I'm gonna work after this, I'm gonna work from the bottom up and do the full boxes down there. And then we'll see how much space we have for the today section. I think that'll be good. By the time you guys, I think I'm gonna, I'm filming this video the weekend before. Normally I kind of film my three videos like the weekend before you guys see them, but I um, am filming this one a little early because I'm traveling this week, which would is gonna bleed into next weekend, which is when I would normally do my filming. So I was just trying to get one out of the way. So when you guys see these, the plans will have probably already happened, but I hope it's still informative from a inserts perspective. Even if the plans are old news, I guess people do rewind spreads. I used to do rewind spreads. Do you guys miss rewind spreads? I don't know. I'm, with only doing three videos a week, it's kind of hard to fit everything in. Um, and I like doing my hauls weekly. That's making them a lot more manageable to edit <laughs> as opposed to doing like uh, over an hour of footage every haul, so. Although I've been trying guys, I'm working on like, I'm trying to, and it's, we'll see how long it lasts. But one thing I'm working on is ordering only one kit a week. Um, yeah, it's not gonna last that long, but that's something I'm working on right now. 
Okay, so we have those two day headers down. Next, I wanna do the full boxes. Now, the bottom washi probably is not gonna get used, but that would be one that I would save if I was doing a daily insert. I would use the bottom washi in the daily kind of as like just for accent deco. Um, if I end up doing that, I will share it on Instagram. So we do have a cute quote box that I will probably try to put up there because why not? And then um, for these full boxes, they're all kind of equally decorative. So I don't feel like I need to necessarily put some, like sometimes when it's like there's a really cute one, you don't wanna cover it up um, since I will be using this as my little thing section. But right now I'm just gonna focus on like spacing them out and trying to line them up the same. I'm putting them the tiniest bit below um, the actual line and also I'm having a little bit of trouble. I don't know why but um, lining these up you really need to put them inside the lines not on the lines like some sticker kits um, because otherwise they're turning out a little too thin. I'm using the undo um, since this insert paper, I use the recommended one that actually I think Annie recommends. I don't know what just Annie recommends actually, but this is the Hammer Mill 28 pound paper. It's in the Annie Plans Printables group on her, po on her pinned post. So trying to get this a little bit better lined up than it was. See, it's like a little bit too thin. Okay, there we go. Um, and so as you can see, I'm bringing them a little bit down just to give that extra smidge of breathing room. So kind of just alternating the light and dark boxes. Oh wow, we're actually gonna have a huge today section. Maybe I didn't need to cut the checklist so much. Oh well, I am fine with that. So let's go ahead and put the little things headers down. I could have like, could do something with like the bottom washi, but I just, I think it'll be too much of a rigmarole. So maybe I didn't need to lower these all the way down for a future reference. Like I pulled them way down, like I was showing you guys. I don't think you actually need to do that to get like a full fledge. This is like a bigger today section than the Erin Condren um, because I cut the checklist short and then push these down. So I am fine with that. Although I'm kind of regretting cutting the checklist now. I'm like, I could have had five to do's, but oh well. Next time, next time, this is why we're playing around in these inserts. So there we have that. I think because we do have this extra little space here, I'm gonna just take these meals and put them at the bottom. And I think that'll kind of fill in that space a little bit and will look pretty cute, so. I'm gonna go in with these meal little things, put them here. Okay, so we have the base down. I think next I'm gonna do these sidebars so that I see what I can fit there and then I can do the rest of the spread here. So um, for the sidebar, we have of course this really cute quote box. Sorry, I'm gonna have to work sideways. This, these can be a little bit tricky to line stuff up in. See, I lined it up wrong. You can see the lines. Oh God, oh God. Holly, Holly. Why did I not use the undo? What's wrong with me, guys? Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again. Oh, you can kind of see the lines, but yeah, I, everything just feels too narrow somehow. I don't know what's going on. Um, so I'm going to do, I do want to do a couple habits since I will be traveling this week. I kind of want to have them with me. So we have the habits here and then there's actually a really cute printed one on the freebie sampler. It coordinates with the kit, which was really nice. So I'll take the printed one and the Oh, let's do a purple one, obviously. Okay, we'll do, I like this color purple a lot. So do these two here. Okay, very cute. And then we have a weekly ombre. And oh, actually we have two weekly ombres. Um, so maybe I'll use the, what else do we have? I haven't planned with an Aria's Daydream kit in a long time. I don't know that I've actually ever used a full kit from her. I think I used her personal kits before. And obviously I use her multicolor stuff a lot. Um, I think I'll do the weekly ombre first. I think I'll do the pink one. 
I'm gonna take some printed washi. And we have a bunch of sidebar headers. Oh, they're in black. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have done a black one. Um, I'm just gonna call it this week because I'm not quite sure if I wanna use this for Tasktober yet or if I'm just gonna put those up here or if I wanna use this for planning out my Instagram posts. Not sure, so I'm just gonna take the generic this week. And then I think I'm gonna just make a little checklist at the bottom. Can we fit three? I'm gonna try to cut one of these down and fit three stars in there and do just like a brain dumpy zone if I need it. And will that fit with the header? Just barely, I think. I don't think we can put any washi behind the header, but that's fine. I'm gonna call it important. And we're gonna have to cut a little bit of that off, but that's fine. Okay, that works and looks pretty cute. Oops guys, I was talking to myself on a blank camera. So basically I just got started with Monday and I said that Monday since um, I really don't have that much going on and we have a lot of white space and a lot of half boxes. I used a half box to mark down my run. And for the run, what do we have in here? She always has really cute like scripty type things. So, Oh, am I missing one that says um, workout or am I, am I blind? Um, so anyway, I am going to, I was debating doing this as like a low foil spread, but how I just love purple and foil together. So sorry, we're going foil. Um, and I have a workout sticker from Simply Watercolor Co. And I'm going to grab just a simple little running icon also from Simply Watercolor Co. to mark down that run. And then on Monday night, I also want to get some editing done. So for that, I'm going to take a little In The Zone sticker from um, Fox and Pip. She's holding an iced coffee and I will definitely not be drinking iced coffee at night, but we can pretend it's a beer maybe because I'll probably have a pumpkin beer. So um, that is really cute and goes really nicely with the color scheme of this kit. And that's really it for Monday. I don't have any little things I need to note down, so that is good. On Tuesday, Tuesday for actual plans, I want to upload a video and then it I'm going to an Elevate class after work. So for the video, I think I'm just gonna take advantage of how many little things she has here and maybe just do like a little heart um, little thing at the top for the video. And then for Elevate, I am going to take another half box here. And I'll take a printed one. And I am gonna take a little workout sticker from Simply Watercolor Co. Put it at the top. I just love this aesthetic. You guys are probably getting sick of it. Oh, I do want to also paint my nails that night though. So I'm going to break out the undo and lift this. Also, let's just lift this since it's very crooked. I need to order more undo, guys. Many mistakes, many mistakes. So while those dry for a second, let's work on the little things. So for the little things, obviously the most important thing is that it's my dog's birthday. Obviously, guys. So for that, I'm going to take a big um half box for her birthday because she's so perfect um put that and then i think we have some cute balloons yeah there's some balloons on the sampler they're balloon oh they're in the balloons in the kit too i'll use those because they're glossy and that and then there's also a little um like a little heart and then a little paw print i'll just take all of those all of the things for sarita's birthday to mark down her birthday, very important. And then I also wanna mark down that I have a TV show and a bill due that day. So the TV show, we'll just put down below here. And the bill due, maybe I'll try to squeeze up there. Um, she has some cute bills in the kit. Oh, and we also have a really cute printed one. So there are the bills in the kit, but then there's also one in the freebie sampler. Here we go. I think I'll put this towards the top of Tuesday. Put 
and then uh, see now I don't really want to do this for the video because then that just ends up being like a lot of straight across things so for the videos I think I just wanted I just want to do something different than the typical clever gal crafts heart I don't know why guys I guess I'm just craving some variety so I think instead I will take do we think this purple is too blue I think maybe in small it would be fine yeah so I'm gonna take this little bow I'm gonna just do bows this week for my videos I think that'll be cute and then I do want to go back in with that workout sticker Ooh, will it all fit hopefully it'll all fit oh and I wanted to do my nails I guess I could put the nails in the to do although I was thinking about making those to do's Hmm. I was thinking about making those to-dos more about my work because this is the one I take with me. So I didn't want to have like home to-dos in here. I don't know if that makes any sense. Also, I'm messing up the foil, guys. Okay, this build do is too big. That was a mistake, but we're just going to go with it. And the workout sticker. And then I am going to grab a Fox and Pip Girl, one of my customs here, and put her here. And then I'll just have to write the video really tiny there. Yeah, maybe the big bill do was a mistake. So I guess we're just not going to put the nails in here because we have them in the at-home planner. I had a very cute sticker to use, but we'll survive, guys. Okay, so that's it for Tuesday. On to Wednesday. Wednesday, I do want to get a quick workout in during the day at work. And for that, I'm going to take a quarter box. and use maybe a printed one. Oh, I did also wanna go, eh, it's okay, I think I'm good. I was gonna put Starbucks in here. So we have the really cute but first coffee, but I'm not sure I'm gonna have room for it all. Let's see, let's try this. But first coffee. And then maybe for the workout, I won't do a quarter box. I'll just put a flag that is from the collab sheet with Simply Watercolor Co. She has these that say gym day. I think these light purple one would go just fine with this kit. Oh, but then I need to put a half box for the night. Okay, sorry, but first coffee, we don't have room for you. Let me work from the evening up. So I definitely want to have a half box there for the Dan work event that night so I'm going to take a half box in there and then let's let this dry and so I think I'm just going to skip putting the Starbucks in here and um, I will just do the gym day flag just kind of there and I can write in what I do next to it and then for that I kind of want to grab a fox and pit girl I only have two of these girls left. They're from the New Year's sheet last year, but how perfect does it go with this kit? I love that. Um, so I'm gonna grab that. And for that, I am gonna grab, I actually had to pull this up from my spread last week because we ended up not attending an event. So, and God forbid I not save a foiled wine sticker. So I'm gonna grab a little wine o'clock sticker here. Um, for that I think that looks really cute and then also that day I did want to note down that it's my stepmother's birthday so for that I'm gonna take one of these stickers the little appointment boxes take this and I think there should be like a little um, yeah we have a little present icon in the kit really cute and then I also wanted to note down I have another bill due so I will take one of these I'll take the this one at the bottom there cute and then on to Thursday. Thursday is when I head out for my work travel. I do want to get a quick run in in the morning. So I'm going to take a little label from the uh, freebie sampler. I wish she would include, does she have any like this in her kit? I don't think so. And I think they're really cute. Because um, these are also, I've gotten these from like $2 Tuesdays from her and I really like them. So I'm going to take... Just a little simple running icon here. Take a pink one. 
just to get a quick run in. And then I need to drive kind of for a while. Um, and I'm gonna take a car. And do I wanna like put it just kind of like that? And then I'm gonna take a look at her headers here. And she has one that says work. And since this is a work trip, I'm gonna actually cut this down to like a little flag because we have like two events that day. Actually, hmm. We also have, we have like the whole board meeting on Friday. So I kind of want to do the same thing on that, but I can take a different, um, maybe I'll save this one for Friday and I'll grab a different, something foiled for Thursday. Oh, I have these super cute little delicate um, script word headers from um, Rose Colored Days. I'm gonna put those over a small strip of printed washi. And I think that'll look really, really pretty. I actually might do the same thing on Friday just because I think that would look so cute. And then I can just note down, I kind of want to have like two little dots, but I don't think we have those. So I think I'm actually just going to write it in there and it's because I didn't find a dot that I really, really liked or anything. So that on Thursday. Oh, and then I do want to note some TV shows down just because I'm trying to see if like I can really fit in all the stuff that I would normally put in my Erin Condren. I wouldn't normally necessarily need this in like the um, planner I carry around with me. But um, like I mentioned in... La or the last B6 plan with me I did, part of this is to kind of test if this would work for a an Erin Condren, Condren replacement for um, next year, so we'll see. I do kind of want to take maybe like, because we are going out to eat. Is there a good, we have like the wine, the wine could work. Um, mm, I don't know, I just want to have something to signify the events, but I guess I'll just write them in. Okay, so let's try that. And then on to Friday. Friday is kind of the all day board meeting, which is what I'm traveling for. So I'm gonna take this black laptop and maybe layer it over um, a flag. And then I can write in like everything that's going on that day, like the different, the schedule of events. Maybe if I write really tiny, that could work. And then I'm gonna take a half box because we have um, a work dinner that night. Oh, I still have this work sticker on my hand. I guess I'm not doing that. <laughs> Oops, that would have been cute though. That's a cute option, just for future for future reference to myself. Um, and then for that work dinner, I am just gonna grab that little wine icon I showed before and just put that there. They don't deserve a Fox and Pip <laughs> sticker. So that is good. Oh no, and Friday is also payday. So do we have a payday sticker? Um, and for payday, I'm just gonna take one of these little Fox and Pip flags down here since I didn't find a different thing that I liked. Um, and that is really it for Friday. And then on to Saturday, I need to drive back first thing. So I'm going to take a little um, I, or appointment label here. And for the icon, I think I'll grab, since I already used the car, I'll just grab the home sticker. And I also want to, that night we'll probably have like a date night probably gonna get some groceries and I want to get some planning done. So for groceries, I'm just gonna take her little grocery cart and just put that in under here. And then for planning, she has these really cute little planners. Are they the same size? Yeah, so I'll just take this one um, to note down planning and filming. Although, see, this is where we start losing space. Um, <laughs> I guess groceries could just go in the to-do section since, um, I'm not gonna put like work to do's on Saturday and Sunday, if that makes sense. So I'll just put the plans plan here. Let me fit in a half box first. And for the half box, we'll take a pink. Ah, uh, see, running low on space.
I didn't have to use half boxes for everything, but I would in my Erin Condren if that makes sense. So, and I'll just kind of squeeze in the plan. Uh, it looks so cramped. Maybe I'm going to lift this um, appointment label just to give it a little bit more white space. Oh my God. I totally ripped the paper guys. Peel this home icon off and just put that just down like on the white space. Yeah, that's a little better because then it's not so much so filled in and then I can just kind of sneak the plan sticker there. Okay, and then that is it for Saturday and then on Sunday um, I want to go to Elevate at in the morning. So for that I'll take, I think I'll just take a quarter box. And I'm gonna take another one of those leftover stickers like I mentioned, to just take a kettlebell there and put that in. And then it is football day that day, so I wanna mark down the Bills game. So for that, I'm just gonna take a flag from the kit. And I wanna take maybe, does she have like a TV icon? She's a laptop. So I'm just going to take one of these little um, icons here that have a TV on it and I'm just actually going to cut it off so that I can just kind of use it layered over that flag. And I think that looks fine. A little weird, but kind of cute. Um, and then I can write in the Bills game and then that day I just also want to like get some meal prep done and laundry. That can all go here, but I thought it'd be just fun to use this little adulting is hard um, sticker there and maybe I'll put a bet next to like the bed to mark down that I need to change the sheets, but just kind of in general, adulting is hard. Sundays are always for hard adulting tasks. Um, so I think that is pretty much it for the week. Let me go ahead, oh, I forgot my videos on, shoot, I totally forgot my videos on Friday and Sunday. And this is also very crooked and driving me insane. So you know what I'm gonna do, since this was kind of bothering me anyways, how cramped it was, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down here on top of a little thing. So that means I'm like not seeing that full box at all, which is kind of a bummer because it was really cute. But let's take a little thing. Oh, oh, right here. And I'm gonna just flip it and put this like this and layer this little bow on top of it. And then I can do that on Friday and Sunday as well. Okay, so now that is it. Um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead now and fill in the spread and come back and show you what it looks like in the Traveler's Notebook. Okay guys, so here is what we look like all filled in. I decided not to use date covers and I'm kind of regretting it because it's like, Holly, you have the ugliest handwriting, but I wanted to use the weekend banner because I thought it was really cute. So I didn't want to like have that and then, you know, only have used part of a week of date covers. I don't know. So um, this is kind of what it looks like. It is definitely busy, but I think there are like, I definitely didn't have to put everything in a half box like I did. It's just since I have so many big events this week, I did want to use a lot of half boxes, but on a normal week, like, you know, I'd just be like working out most days and I maybe a happy hour or two. I wouldn't have so much going on. So this was like a good test. Let me show you guys what I have left in this Aria's Daydream kit. So um, I have um, some functional stuff here and icons, almost the entire bottom washi and washi sheet. So like I said, I will probably use that for decoration. Then we have some heart checklists and some extra appointment labels. We have a bunch of little things and some sidebar headers, kind of regretting cutting up that work one in case I want to use it. Um, and then an extra full box and a couple of appointment labels and then just a few things on the sampler. So um, I think her kits are a pretty good size. The only thing that's really missing from like standard full kits would be date covers. Um, but yeah, I still have a lot left over. So I will try to use that because I'm obsessed with this kit. I just love the colors. It is so gorgeous. Um, and yeah, 
So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you like seeing B6 plan with me. It's definitely helpful for me. And definitely let me know down below what you're thinking of. You know, if you're trying to plan in the B6 for next year, I know a couple of you guys commented on my last video, which I'm curious how you guys are making it work. So um, yeah, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.